Hey everybody, CK here, and I'm coming to you guys with another video. And this is the look that Minnie Me rocked on her birthday, but this can also double as a holiday look. So first, I am priming the eyes with Too Faced Shadow Insurance, and now I'm just using a foundation to mute out the discoloration on her lids, and I'm blending that out and setting that. And now this is a product I used in my drugstore makeup look I just did. It is a primer, or I guess they call it an eyeshadow base. It's by LA Girl. And now I am going into Makeup Geek's Bake Sale, and I'm doing that, or I'm using that, I should say, as a transition color. Y'all know how these voiceovers do me. They are so disrespectful. <laughs> but anyway, I'm also using Makeup Geek's Typhoon Eyeshadow. I believe it's a foiled eyeshadow. Now, Minnie Me told me that she wanted to rock green for her birthday because she was wearing an olive green dress, so I obliged, okay? She said she wanted green and brown, so I just came up with something. So, the next color I'm using right here is Cocoa Bear, and that's just kind of like the outer V, or like the outer third of the lid, I'll say. But Cocoa Bear wasn't deep enough, so I wanted to go into Americano. But I had to be a little careful because the colors that I use as transitions are a little deeper on her, so that's why I use Cocoa Bear and Americano, okay? I didn't want it to be too deep. And so for the brow bone, I believe that I used, I think I used um, Beaches and Cream. Yeah, that's what I think. And so I just blended that out. Like make sure when you guys do your brow bone that you blend it into your transition as well so that you have an awesome transition. So it has a gradient effect, okay? So it just blends seamlessly. So it doesn't look like you just place two different colors there. We want them to blend together. So in her lash line, I also put a little bit of Cocoa Bear, but that wasn't enough for me. So I went into another Makeup Geek color, and this color, I believe it's called Enchanted Forest. It's a deep green, and it totally set it off. I gave her some black liner, and I also gave her a little wing. And now I am, <laughs> I was like clowning with her, but now I was using like a primer, the Becca primer, because she does have oily skin, and she was gonna be gone for the whole day. So I wanted to make sure that we set that makeup right, that it was, you know, set in place, okay? So now, the foundation we are using, you guys, this foundation is amazing and I did a separate video because look, she went from that to this right here. Can y'all believe that? Just one product. I did not color correct at all. So anyway, enough of all the raving about it. Let me tell you what it is. It is Derma Blend. I believe it's called the Smooth Liquid Camel Foundation. And I used Cafe as her foundation color and to highlight, I used the color Honey. But I have a separate video all about just the foundation and how I use it as a concealer and all that good stuff, okay? But now we are setting that with my Ben Nye Banana Powder which looks really, really great on her, I love it. And we're giving her a little bit of contouring and I'm using my NYX contour stick and I'm contouring her nose as well and she usually doesn't contour her nose, so she was like, mom, really, really? And I'm like, yes, baby, it is your day. We are going all out, okay? Highlighting, contouring everywhere, okay? <laughs> so anyway, so I'm blending all of that out and I'm using my Real Technique Beauty Sponge. And now I am setting everything with a Derma Blend setting powder. And you guys, like, would you believe? I was a little scared that she was gonna get flashback, but she did not get any flashback. And she actually loved both of the products together for the whole day. She said her makeup was popping. So now I am contouring with what I usually use, but you guys know I like a light contour. She likes a heavier contour because her face is more round. So she was really feeling the contour, okay? And then I used Max Copper Tone Blush on her and she wanted to use the Sweet Peach Palette because she has her own glow palette. So she was like, you gotta use that on me. Plus I wanna smell like peaches. So I put that on her. I put, I mixed both of the highlight colors, okay? So we did that. And then I wanted to set everything all off. I told you we wanted to make sure nothing moved. So I used the Scandinavia Bridal Setting Spray and she was just like getting like, being treated like a queen, okay? I'm all fanning her and everything. So, this is a new Makeup Geek lipstick, and this is in the color Shady, and she was like, Mom, I gotta wear that for my birthday. So she's feeling herself, she's feeling herself. <laughs> so this is the final look, you guys. I hope you guys like it. If you, oh, I know what to tell you. I'm gonna be doing another look on deeper skin, so stay tuned for that, all right, you guys? So in the meantime, and in between time, Check out this video where I did her foundation and I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. You guys have an awesome blessed day and I will see you sooner than you think. Bye.